Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon, and today we're asking a question. Why some people will never, ever speak in tongues? Let me tell you, my friend, the simple answer is simple because they don't want to, and it is not a sin. It is not a requirement for salvation. We have so many people fighting each other, brethren, fighting over, you ain't got tongues, you ain't even got God. You don't speak in tongues, you need to sit down and get. Friends, when I first started speaking in tongues, I was arrogant, I was prideful, and I was extremely judgmental of my brethren because in my mind, if you didn't have the evidence, quote, evidence, speaking in tongues, you ain't, you ain't even really saved. This is a lie. This is a ploy of our, e of our evil adversary who wants to divide the brethren and get us focused on something that is simply, look and follow me, my friend. It is simply a gift. It is one of the nine manifestations of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 gives us a list of those 12 gifts. We have the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, faith. You have healings, working of miracles, prophecy, discerning of spirits, diversity of tongues, and interpretation of tongues. Now, follow me very close, my friends. This will help you. If you go to a restaurant and order a uh, order of french fries but you don't want ketchup is that a sin is it wrong that that person just don't want ketchup on their fries friends it's the same if a brother or sister in christ is not coveting speaking in tongues the bible says do not despise speaking in tongues but to covet prophecy. So many of you know, we had the gathering of the prophets very recently. And a lot of the brethren were speaking in tongues, but the spirit was saying to say, stop it. Because in the fellowship, when you are in a corporate setting of believers, all of us was English speaking. There might have been one or two people who were foreigners, but they were all English speaking. There is no reason for the Holy Spirit to manifest a foreign language because we're all English speaking. Think about it, my friend. So you have brethren who beat up on the other brethren, just like I was when I was young in the Lord. I've been walking with Jesus over 30 years. So when I was spirit filled, quote, where I knew that the word said that they spake with other tongues, that's what I wanted. And I began to seek God. And once the Lord allowed me through the spirit, to speak with a new tongue, a foreign tongue for building up my most inner faith. Friends, let me tell you something. I was a mess. And God had to get me to understand everybody is not seeking to have ketchup on their fries. Leave them alone. Focus on the thing that you agree. Don't focus where you don't agree. Because friends, let's face it. This is a very de divisive doctrine that you must speak in tongues. This, this, is, this, is, this is not good, brethren. So to answer that question, if you don't want no ketchup on your fries, God ain't sending you to hell for it. So why should we try to send our brothers for it? Think about it, my friend. Till next time, he or she that has an ear to hear, God bless.